Hey guys, it's Beth, and welcome- oh, whoops, not what I meant. Um, welcome back to some more Pokemon Scarlet. You- you good, bro? I don't think that dude's good. I, however, have just chugged an entire monster at 6 p.m. Let's go. I just realized I didn't write down... My bad. I need to write down the episode, uh, thing. Here we are, Beth. Welcome to the Naranja Academy. Here, this here is the entrance hall. You can sign up for all kinds of classes at the desk behind me, and those halls off to the sides lead to different parts of the school. It's totally big enough to let loose and battle in here, but for some reason they banned Pokemon battling in the main entrance. Miss Beth, Miss Nimona. How did you find your first school commute? Had a blast. I imagine Miss Nimona's high spirits helped with that. She is a true asset to our fine academy. Not that I am expecting anything less from our champion ranked student council president. Reliable as ever, Miss Nimona. Well, I know how to look after my friends, right, Beth? Oh, speaking of which. We, some of those, we saw some of those Team Star kids in town, Director. You did? Where? It was down the stairs from the front gates. They were hassling this kid with an Eevee backpack? That is quite the news. Are they still to be found out there? Actually, Beth flexed on him and ran him off. You don't say. Of course, it's a fine thing to try to help a fellow student, Miss Beth. But you might wish to show a bit of restraint as you find your feet here at our academy. And Miss Nimona, do remember that the school staff are here to resolve any such troubles. Uh, yeah, right. Yes, sir, Director. A child with an Eevee backpack, you say? I suppose that may have been Miss Penny. I'm relieved she's here. I'm relieved to hear she's come to class, at least. Ah, and Miss Nimona, if you'd be so good, do report to Mr. Jacques about this Team Star business. As your homeroom teacher, he should be kept apprised of all such going-ons. You got it, sir. Ah, uh, but look at the time. You two had better hurry along. Classes will be starting soon. We're in class 1A, Beth. Come on, let's show you the way. So, Penny is shy, has glasses like that, has hair like that, and doesn't show up to school all too often. You know? I'm, I'm, I'm thinking about it. I think that... I'm curious, I think I transcoded this character. Hello, hello, everyone. We have some exciting news this morning. Who wants to hear it? I suppose I should have told you sooner, but we have a new friend joining our happy homeroom episode today. By the way, I'm just going to start reading only the important dialogue, because it, it'll take too long. Anyone that has a name... I'm going to read the dialogue of. Alright, you can come on in. Could I trouble you for a few words introducing yourself? Sure. Yeah. Did you... <laughs> That's nice. Looks like everyone's eager to get to know you. Alright then, who wants to be the first to ask our new friend a question? Favorite thing about Pokemon? Uh, I like collecting them, honestly. I have Hinamana. Oh, I want to complete the Pokedex. At least in this run, I wanna, I wanna do that. Well, thank you for telling us a bit about yourself. I'm Mr. Jacques. I teach biology here at the academy, and I'm also your homeroom teacher. That's your seat, second row from the front. Oh god, the classroom is falling apart, did you see that? Alright, you ragamuffins. Be nice and friendly to our new classmate. Oh my god. These kids here are running at single digit frames. 
No, don't. Oh, gosh. A math class is able to be- Ugh. You can't be serious. You can't be making me play Persona. You can't. You're not allowed. You can't just make me- Let's go to the st uh, st staff room. I don't want to be near that other guy. He should be off a cliff. I'm going to ignore him as much as possible and pretend that he's off the cliff. Namona, please, I have no other friends here. Very well, Champion Namona, I trust you to handle this in my stead. Sure thing, you can count on me. In fact, I bet this is going to be fun. I'm glad to hear it. Good day, then. Wow, she's pretty. Oh, pardon me. She's probably like a gym leader or something. Oh, Beth, hey! She looked awesome. <laughs> <laughs> that that's the correct answer. Good eye. She sure is. That lady. Well, they call her La Pri La Primera. She's strong. She can do pretty much anything. She's got cool, practically coming out of her ears. She's basically everything I want to be, or that any Pokemon trainer would want to be, really. Oh, which reminds me. Uh, remember in homeroom when I asked you what your dream is? Well, now that I know you said all about completing a Pokex, but here we up. You should try to reach Champion Rack like me. Yeah, I will. Oh, wow. Hang on, though. I got a whole spiel I want to give you. <laughs> of course. The trainers who reach champion rank are the ones who raise their Pokemon really strong. They're pro tier battlers. Their moves keep the crowds absolutely on the edge of their seats. You have to prove yourself to the Pokemon League to officially get the title of champion. Oh, interesting. And to do that, you have to take more than just take classes here. You've got to take on eight Pokemon gems and win so you can collect their gem badges. Once you've done all that, all that's left is a special test, the championship assessment. And once you pass that, then you'll get- then at long last, you'll get to be a champion. It's every Pokemon trainer's dream, the coolest title anyone could ever hope to get. Not to brag or anything. I mean, that's fair. I reached champion rank during our last treasure hunt, you know? Oh, the treasure hunt is a special independent study thing we've got here. Should happen soon. Our last one started not long after the beginning of this school year. It's great. You get to leave school to go have an adventure and learn however you want. I guess you could say that my journey to becoming a champion was the treasure I found. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know yet the answer I'm looking for. Anyway, I've got a feeling that you're going to get even stronger uh, if you and I are both working at it. Let me go ahead and save the gym's locations in your map app and in case you decide to go for it. Do you like my phone case? I like yours. Oh, hey, wow. There's one dude who's backwards in his picture. All right. Oh, wow. Oh, wow, this map is big. Victory Road. Give it some thought. Well, I'd like to talk to you more about that, but alright. Uh, they said that a math class was available. Ugh, I have to go talk to this dickhead. He's mean. Uh, but you're important, aren't you? You know what? Actually, no, you're not important, so I'm not going to honor your dialogue. No, I you haven't... You really haven't caught my interest at all. Uh... Oh! Okay, I'll do that because... Alright, well... I'll take those because those are in fact Donphan, and those might be where I can get... 
uh, I might be able to get, um, what's it called? My Jigglypuff like that. Screamtail. Alright, thank you for the Stardust. Okay, maybe you're just a dork. Maybe... Perhaps I was too harsh on you. Ratata! Hello, Rotom. This is Beth, correct? I hacked your smartphone so I could talk to you. Hope you don't mind. Who are you? My name's Cassiopa. Never mind that. If you want to talk about, I hear a train with serious potential. If that description is actually then it's something I want to ask of you. Tell me, you know about Team Star, right? Yeah. Great. I picture you you being up front here. Team Star was a group of troublemakers formed by the Academy students a while back. They cause headaches for the school and try to bring other students. That's Azorua. I refuse to sit idly by and let them get away with it. Come out. Come with a plan to bring down Team Star and force them to disband for good. Operation Starfall. To allies like you. All right, sure. I guess I really am just become. God damn it! Why am I playing Persona now? Ah, uh, Miss Beth. Please do try to keep your voice down if you're making calls within the school, won't you? I'll be more careful. There's a Zoro right there. No, I need that. Get, no, I get. Let me talk to the Zoro. Who is Cassiopa? Ding dong dong ding. All right. I well, I have been called to the office before, genuine, so it's no big deal. Oh, uh, what? Oh no. I can cause these people to blip in and out of reality. Director's office, please, thank you. I kind of wanted to go to the classes, but, uh, whatever. Alright, what did I do? How much did I fuck up already? Yep. Okay. Seems a friend of mine has a rather serious matter they'd like to discuss with you. Uh, no, I'm afraid they're not actually here in this room with us. One moment, please. Just allow me to connect us. Oh, hey, it's you. Hello, it is nice to meet you. My name is Professor Sada. I carry out Pokemon research within the Great Cater of Palada, known as Area Zero. Oh, is this going to let me get my Jigglypuff? Because that's all I want. I want a beeline for that Jigglypuff. The professor, in fact, is a graduate of our fine academy, as well as a splendid researcher. Well, allow me to get straight to the point. Beth, student... I d don't fucking dox me. <laughs> You're a student who travels with the unusual Pokemon Coridon, is that correct? Yes. Thank you. I appreciate you were honest in confirming the facts. It is not that I mean to offend you. In fact, I wish to ask your assistance. Assistance? Bonjour? Oh, how good to see that you are well. It's been quite a while since we last met. Chance. Crydon was once in my care, you see. Its Pokeball was also originally mine. I assume you received it from a young man called Arvin. I'm in no longer pos in any position to be able to manage that Pokemon myself. This is what I will ask of you. Will you continue looking after Crydon on my behalf? Yes. I do appreciate your agreement. 
Corradon has been greatly weakened and is currently incapable of battle. It can, however, take on a, mo a form specialized for mobility. In all likelihood, it will require some time to fully regain the abilities it once had. I will provide you with my contact information. Could you please get out your phone? I will be in regular contact, growing forward, keeping tabs on your status. Okay. Until then. But am I allowed to get my Jigglypuff, please? Uh, yes, yes. Could this Pokemon have its origins within Area Zero? Hopefully you can't, um, you can't hear the shower that's in the room next to me. I'm sorry about that. Sada, don't tell me you actually did it. Get my Jigglypuff for me? That would be awesome. I would love for you to tell me that you did that. Screamtail, 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 Screamtail. Well, it seems the professor is asking quite the favor of you. But of course, the academy is always here to support you in any way that we are able. I do hope that you'll enjoy your school life together with that Karaidon. Can I name it, please? I would like to name it. I'm gonna name it Volkswagen. Hello, excuse me. Oh, you're still here. Oof, getting called the director's office? How'd you land in that much trouble already? Nah, no, kidding. I knew it wasn't like that. Mr. Shock said he wanted to show- he wanted me to show you the way to your room in the school dorms. Your own private room, Beth. Let's go check it out. <sighs> okay. I was so close to making bad joke, but... ta ta -chan! From now on, this is your room. It's actually as new to me as it is to you. Never been in here before. Mmm. Uh, uh ho no, the, what you just said <laughs> makes me feel justified in the joke I was going to make. Why is there a scratch on my hand? Okay. Maybe check out your new bed. It looks comfy. You must be pretty worn out from all this. Stuff happening on your very first day, huh? Quick rest in bed is all you need to get you and your Pokemon healthy again. Maybe you should let me in there. I'll see you tomorrow, even when you rest it up. Uh, then we can battle you one more. Take care. Hey, what was that last thing that you added? Take care. Wow, it really is Persona. Alright. This game is Persona now. I... It's... Welp. The days quickly fly by after you start your new life at Naranja Academy. Oh my god. And the le and at last the day arrives for your true be an adventure to begin. Well, apparently we've just skipped past all of math class. Which, I mean, fair. Ding dong dong ding. Dong ding dong ding. Please assemble in the schoolyard where I'll explain in more detail. Hey, we got some stuff up in this room. Oh, hey. It's time. I've been waiting forever for this. Come on, let's go out to the schoolyard. Hold on, I want to see what got added to my room. Well, I guess nothing important. <laughs> There's a Hariyama over there. Excellent. It seems everyone is here. Well, then it's time that I explained your independent study assignment. As usual, the theme will be a treasure hunt. I ask each of you to set out and travel the world in search of your own treasure. Oh, are these all like the gym leaders and stuff? You have all learned much within the walls of our fine academy. But now it is time to turn your eyes upon the wider world and deepen your understanding. Explore Paldea's abundant nature, soak in its rich culture. Discover the Pokemon that live here. There are Tropius here? Okay. And get to know the people too. 
Where will you travel? Who will you meet? And what will you achieve? Of course, your Pokemon partners will be there to help you. You will journey together and learn new things together. Share each other's thoughts and feelings. Mm, that last one. It's among us, sus. Find something you might always treasure. Sus. I look forward to welcoming you all back after your independent study. When you return to us as fine young trainers. Let the treasure hunt begin. Onward. I think what's very interesting is that as Pokemon goes on, they tend to make all of the rivals slightly more and more gay. Cyclazar. Tommy, yeah, it's time for the great outdoors. Come on, Cyclazar, we're riding out. I don't know what this voice is. Take care, everyone, and remember, the great crater of Paldea is exceedingly dangerous. Entering it is a violation of school rules. But can I get my Jigglypuff there? What are you waiting for, Beth? Let's go. Can I jump on my Coridon yet? Coridon these nuts? Well, I guess we'll, um... Keep going. God, this game looks great, actual, is the thing. Beth, Beth. The treasure hunt, it's finally starting. What do they mean by treasure? Yeah, um, fair question, since it's your first time. Come on, let's walk and talk. The treasure hunt is part of the Naranjas Academy school year. The point isn't to get us to look for some actual tre hidden treasure, necessarily. We're more just making our own adventures to see what experiences Paldea's got to offer. You could try to beat Pokemon gyms, you could help out people in need, you could hunt for a real capital T treasure if you wanted, even. There's stuff uh, we'd never learn sitting in a classroom, you know? This is our chance to learn it. Plus, there are so many chances of battle, which is par obviously perfect for me. You and me gotta for sure battle if we run into each other out there. I hope you're ready. Yes. Of course. Oh yeah, battling can wait. I meant to tell you. Did your... Jeez, okay. I was expecting something more important than tutorial when you say that there's something more important than battle. Like, I'm not even gonna lie. Uh... Oh. Tsh. <laughs> How is that an advantage? You're just explaining what the fuck you're doing. I didn't even... I didn't even agree to all you do that. I just... Hey, Cassiope here. <laughs> Jesus. Okay. Wow. A lot of different things going on here. Interesting. Good luck with those bosses. I'm sure I'll help you off with nice rewards every time you do it. Jesus. I've got... I'm... Someone hacked my phone and I don't know what's going on. Uh, I guess... What I want to do is to jump into the pit that they told me not to. That way I can get my scream tail. And yes. What do you come out for? Just, just. Let's go. 
Let's freaking go. This is not safety mandated. Wait, hold on. Did you just say pack my cloister? I need to gr I need to, to hold on. Run it back. Run it back. Run it back. I need to run that shit back. I am going to put that into the episode. I'm pretty sure that's what she said. Okay. Alright, um... Never eat... Okay. So, the correct way to go for me is the pit. Oh, I can jump on this thing. Yeah, this is totally... Yeah, this is totally fair. What the fuck? This is gonna break the video game. I'm sorry? Are you kidding me? I'm about to jump over this thing and just die instantly. I was not wrong. The game is really not happy that I did that. Holy shit. Wh wh where am I? Wh where am I? Where did- where did I go? Hey, it's me, Namana. We should call and catch up what, how things are going. What? Huh? Where? Hey, I'm sorry, where am I? Hey, I'm sorry, like, what the fuck? Is everything, like, okay? Alright, so I'm here. I guess I'll go down here. Huh. Well, I mean, here's the thing, it's been 30 minutes, and I know that we haven't done any battles or anything yet, but at the same time, that's like, that's episode length, baby. So, um, yeah. That's an Eevee. Is that a Starly? <gasps> There's a Mareep! Hello, Mareep. Oh, that's going to be a perfect amount to catch you. If we can get an evolution happening in this episode, that would be really nice. Because then I will have, like, a decent, um... Like, a decent episode. It's Lemonade! It's our girl, Lemonade. She's back. Send to boxes for now. Even though you're definitely better than Pommy, I want to use new Pokemon, and I have used Mareep so many times in the past. I'm just going to throw a ball at you. Sorry, I had to respond to a quick message. Oh, well, I didn't want to do that. I wanted to catch a Pokemon. 
I want to catch the Starly. It's so funny that the balls just stay suspended midair. Oh, here it comes. That's an evolution, baby. Oh, wait. Uh, no. Oh, wait. Oh, well. Starl is now its name. It's time. Evolution of the bucket. It's turning from a bucket into a pail. Oh, look at it. That's so cool. Flora Gato. Gato means cat. Flower cat, quite literally. Let's look at Bucket real quick. Oh, I probably should get. I just realized I should probably give you, like, um. I should probably head back and get the grass whatever at some point. Anyway, I'm going to make that my lead Pokemon, because, you know, duh. Alright, well, that's where I'm going to end off today's episode, so thank you all so much for watching. I hope that you have enjoyed. If you did, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more. Hope to see you all in the next one. Bye-bye!